Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you have you watching. This is Risco no Saka coming at you with some more. Banana Isaac, after plus, after bird plus, it's a whole thing. Everything is a whole, everything is a thing right now. I don't know, I don't know if my internet's okay. I'm thinking it is, but we're kind of like fingers are crossed at the moment. Um, yeah. Let's just, like, get into it. Let's just do it. Uh, okay, that's a start. We have, like, we should probably unplug that. that. That should help. I got, like, flashy eyes. And Dead Sea Scrolls, which is junk. Also, can I point out that we have basically crap health? Like, this is a start. This is... I think this is like the perfect Isaac run to cap off the day to start off the stream give me a heart and I don't mean like a consumable heart I mean like give me heart elsewise you are just wasting my time gluttony oh I deserve that yes we got heart and like it's it, Captain Planet yo we have the power of heart. Osu, Kronos, how you doing? I hope you are very well. I hope that life is gentle to you. That the crow plague is not crowing you up. Because, like, a lot of people are worried about the crow plague right now. That's not, not a bad, not, not a terrible get. A lot of people are worried about the crow plague right now. And I, I, I would hope that you don't feel the need to worry that is why did we get like why did we get a battery of all effing things why would we get a battery dead sea scrolls i mean i have to use it because we have it but could have dropped in way earlier but fate decided that i didn't need a can opener i mean that's a thing hive i'm gonna make us whole i'm gonna do my best I think we could all use a little bit of hole right now. Osu! Kombanyan! Hitomi! Yo, put a minimum uh, level. The cases rose in hundreds over here, after all. Um, that's kind of spooky. Now, is this a case is rising? There's been a big blossom, or because testing is actually being done? Because I know that in the U.S., like, there's a lot of places testing hasn't been done. Which means that when testing starts to get done, we see big jumps. Um, Famine, like, I don't need you is the thing. I don't want to blow up that TNT. Oh, that was uh, a clutch dodge, by the way. I didn't really expect I'd be able to do that. Can we thank you? Yopranai da yo Funya Umberkin How are you doing? Uh, these are confirmed cases so I guess there's uh, testing over here. I mean that's that's good. Like I mean it's not good that we've got a lot of cases or that you're seeing a lot of cases where you are, but at least it's good that we're getting a better read on how many cases are I wanted to say available, and that doesn't make any sense at all. Ludo! How you doing? Okigamen! Iyanen! Uh, in Chennai? Ito monskido! Dekireba ina! Um, it's especially bad the next town over. Apparently some idiot decided to get together after a trip and got six people infected. Ha! Huh? Like, people are dumb and they're in the world at any time for the last 40 years, but still. Network Konderu. Ah, Soyanen. Soyanen. Oh, so. Okay, okay. We, we need to be careful because we have just... Um, maybe buggered up our deal with the devil chances. Crumbs. 
Okay, you stay away from me. Stay away from me! Just like that Godsmack song. Day three of self-quarantine, just eating some salami sandwiches. I mean, that was my childhood. I ate many salami sandwiches. <laughs> so I, I don't, like, begrudge you, your salami. I hope nobody is, because that, that would be rude. And we don't appreciate that here. We're not down with rudeness. Game, why must you hate me? Today of all days? Okay, Sprinkler is great. Uh, but we need something better. I have bought tuna! Tuna is good. I'm gonna take it because I want to keep the bomb. Nuclear Throne is 90% off and I'm thinking of getting it again. Um, Nuclear Throne is brutal. And if you enjoy brutality, then that is the perfect game for you. I myself am bad at Nuclear Throne. Like, absurdly bad? But maybe it's because I always try to play it on PC. Maybe it would be easier if I played it on PS4. I don't know. Oh god. Bombs. Nuclear Throne slaps, but it's hard. I mean, there's definitely a lot of slappage going on. I mean, there's no, no question about that. But it's slappage in a direction that, like, Enter the Gungeon slaps, and it is basically just difficult enough that I can kind of sort of engage with, but not very well. Nuclear Throne is kind of difficult enough that I can't really engage with, and it's a little bit frustrating. Oh. Hold on a second, let me just... Eric Gaius, want to become famous? No, I don't, and also, maybe you could just kind of not be a bot, because that would be cool. I'm just saying that that would be really cool. Goodbye. Sayonara. Oh, I thought that we had, like, a, like a new person dropping in, but it was just, it was just a bot. No bots. That's also not the door. <laughs> Something's at the door. Ah, uh, today. I need to ask a quiz. A quiz? A quick question. As we allied our words extremely. Um, exit the Gungeon. Is that not coming out on PC? Now, Ludo, you had said in Discord that you thought that it was just a mobile game, which it might be, but it's on PC. I said PC before. It's on PC and Switch, as well as the Apple Game Store, but, oh, that's dumb. But, um, not PS4. And I'm wondering what all that means. It's on Steam right now. I mean, it could be their way of saying hello, but if it is, it's the same as all the other bots that have ever showed up in the channel. So, I mean, they might want to change their way of saying hello. Um, actually, like, I lucked out. I go, the... The Yasumi is only until Monday, which is Niju San Nichi, but it's still longer than I would like. Wasn't even on Apple Store, it was specific only to Apple Arcade. Okay, so I, I, I read that wrong. Now that you say that, I remember them saying Apple Arcade, because somebody had said that it sold them on Apple Arcade. But, that explains a lot more. Okay. I'm, I, I hate to ask for explanations because I know it's like, it's labor. Igai! But, 
When you say it explains a lot more, what does that mean? Because it doesn't explain very much to me. <laughs> I mean, now the nail is good, but it's not going to help us very much. <coughs> that's why somebody was streaming it from mobile yesterday. I'll, because that's what you said in the um, the Discord. I get ya. I am on the trolley, which means that I'm unaffected basically by the trolley problem, because I'm simply a passenger. Some other jag off. Has to decide whether or not to pull the lever or not. Trolleys. What what have trolleys done for us besides provide a really cool scene in Roger Rabbit? And um, also be an accessible way of transportation that didn't require your own personal moving vehicle. And their destruction probably really fucked up American city design for, well, basically until now. Um, oh wait, what were we talking about? The nail is good. Penis is evil. I tell myself that every day. I don't, actually, but, I mean, it, it makes it funnier if I do. Oh, you bastard. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the lever story. Because it's been done. Like, it's been, it's been done into the ground. Stupid lever story. I mean, you take like a, a conceivably, although I would say flawed, perhaps fatally flawed, <laughs> philosophical problem, and you turn it into like a, 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 just a cudgel, basically. A cudgel meme. I just bought NT, will probably uh, let it destroy me late in the week. NT, the New Testament. Have you... Are you joining a church? Have you accepted the word of the Lord, our Savior? Uh, I... Entropy, basically. That's my Savior. We still have trolleys because we don't hate public transportation here. And that's because you're awesome. We have a trolley. And it happens to be in Osaka. And it is called, and this will probably not make very much sense unless you have some knowledge of Japanese, it is called Chin Chin Densha, which is, uh, did anybody think before applying that nickname? Or did they just run with it? Because, like, really? Will our Lord and Savior, oh, hold on a second, <laughs> will our Lord and Savior get rid of the coronavirus so I can eat ramen in peace? Likely not, because um, if you're going with like an omnipotent, omniscient super god, it's kind of a jag off, basically. It's kind of like just like letting all this stuff just happen. I mean, if you have the power to stop pain, and you don't, um, that's you're just. You're a bit of a Jagamuffin? Um, well, uh, we got light rail back in Sydney and it's inaccessible to blind passengers because, surprise, no announcements. The fudge? Um, basically, a chin chin? means, uh, well, I mean, it's it's a slang for a dude's junk. <laughs> so, the first time I heard that name, it kind of, I was a little bit like, really? <laughs> is, is that what you're going to go with? Book of Sin. I... I kind of feel like Nail is better for us. Why, thank you. I, I appreciate, I strive for elegance in almost nothing that I do. 
But if I so Chin Chin is also an onomatopoeia for like a bell ringing, like the the, the bells in the train. I think that's what it was. I I, I can't remember. It's been a long time uh, since I actually asked. So I think the the junk meaning of that onomatopoeia came later after it was an established term but because most all the trolleys are gone now most people would know changing as the well as the euphemism term euphemism we'll go with that it's euphemism so it kind of like yeah <laughs> it's kind of a thing a could you not run into me? Moo! Nani moo! Nanji mare mayaru to des. Um. Well, I think we're probably just gonna do the stream until ten o'clock. I mean, I've got tomorrow off, but at the same time, I am really beat. Because it's been a long day. So... <laughs> yeah... Like, I'd love to do a longer stream, he told me. But I don't think I can do a longer stream. Excuse me, don't, don't throw up on me. I got really messed up because you said 10, and it's after 10 here. Oh, because of the, like, the daylight savings and everything. You sound like you've had a lot of a day as well, Hive. I'm glad that your day is roughly over. And that you don't need rocket launchers anymore. Because I don't, I don't have any is all. But I would really love to send you some. Come pie! <laughs> Come pie! It's always time for Kampai. Alright, we should probably strive to not take much more damage than we've um, been taking already. Which has been a lot of damage because we are garbage. And that's a problem. Well, at least we didn't have to deal with the devil, because that would have probably killed us. A lot of the day was trying to get contracts written and briefs approved and such. And the Hidden Realms update drops on console just before next Wednesday for you. Wait. Oh, oh right, 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 right. Uh, Hidden Realms is the... um. Is the new Risk of Rain update. I am excited for that. Wait. I I, I know that uh, he told me he was talking about alcohol, but I don't know if I heard about more than 10 years. I should be paying more attention to chat than I am. I will be returning to risk range. Oh my god. 2020. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, I will definitely be returning to risk range too. I was kind of sort of waiting for the update to drop. Oh. I didn't see that part. ひとみにゃんあのじゅんねんいじょぶりちばあれどういうまえののんだときっていうことですかいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい
気をつけて<笑>飲みすぎないでどう You were right in your reading hive? Yes. It was,、uh, I guess, 10 years since the last time that he told me I was drinking. <laughs> Hi. I like Risk of Rain a lot, and I wish that we had more time to play it. But it's. It's like we. Usually we only get to play random games. In between longer streams, and there's a lot of random games that we could play, so it, it kind of gets like difficult to schedule stuff. I wish I could have, like, do I wish this? I think I do. I wish I could have, like, one more streaming day that I could do. Where Sundays could be dreams in LBP, and then Wednesdays, Thursdays could be a long form game, and then the extra day could be like a, just a random game, so that we could get more stuff like Enter the Gungeon and Risk of Rain 2 and Risk of Rain 1, which I absolutely love and I'm much better at than Risk of Rain 2, but that's probably not gonna happen. For a bit yet. The search for the last radar tower continues. This is your. It's your curse. Doom Eternal preloaded. Oh, that's right, because it's、uh, coming out in two days. How to get my bed and all my modal. I, that's a mobile, not a modal. Modals are completely different things. Because Risco doesn't know math. I wish we could get a tears up because that would make this run so much better. Possibly even more than a damage up. I think tears would sort us pretty well. Oh, yeah, the PC update for Risk Rain 2 looks like it's bringing back an old arena from Risk Rain 1. And if true, maybe the return of child and parent. Ooh! Baby, I love your way. Give me familial love. Yay. Oh, that's right. We're getting power ups from the.、Uh... I completely forgot that we had. Money is power. We could have totally held that fool, and I was dumb for using it. That's okay. Now, even though we have money as power, we might want to go to the shop. And I think I'm going to do that thing. Horf! I wish I hadn't. Ha 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 Okay, Gate, could you just, like, not do that anymore? Been trying to get back on track with drawing and stuff. I'm make, I'm kind of fumbling a lot. I saw the last stuff that you had posted, which is a little bit ago, but I did like it an awful lot, Kronos. Dog food. What a food! Are you looking for a new long form game at the moment? Um. Basically, what I'm thinking, Hive, is that we'll do until April with just kind of like random stuff because that's always fun. And then、uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do exactly because there's a couple of options that I have already. Ah,、oh, we can't. I like Tammy's head, but this is not the run for it. We could do. 
the GameCube uh, on PS4, the GameCube Resident Evil 1 Remake is one option. We could do Gravity Rush 1, which is another option. Now both of these, both of those would be new for the stream. We could, I'm going to use it here because I want to break these skulls. We could do either Resident Evil 2 or Gravity Rush 2 because I would like to get those back on channel because we did those in the before and when I delete that YouTube channel those will be gone forever and I really enjoyed them an awful lot. Um, but they are games that we've already done before. Now I'm also, even though I, I remember Kronos saying that the, the, I want to say DPS, and that's not right. The frame rate is kind of garbage, but I do feel like I want to do control. And I think we have enough money for control in our PlayStation wallet. If control is like the only game that we get. Or the only game that we want to get in the PlayStation Wallet. And there is always, like, what's it called? Like, Arkham City? Because we've... I bought that just for Bookworm. I've got that, and we've never played it. Although it is kind of a giant... Um investment of memory on the PS4. Well, thank you very much, Ludo. I'm not sure what that was in relation to because I was just talking and not looking at the chat. Give me one second. Let me... Let me do this up here a second. The last rose kept you up at night. ara 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 I lost something. <laughs> Remake is good. Celeste, like... I'm interested in Celeste. Ludo. But there are two points about Celeste that I need to consider. One is that I would need to buy it fresh as opposed to something I already have, which is doable because it's not an expensive game, but it, it does kind of limit options in the future. But two, Celeste is like a heavy duty platformer and I've not shown myself to be particularly skilled long-term with that type of game. And I do worry that it would, I worry that I would get frustrated and then it wouldn't be a fun stream and that's for me something that's really really important so I'm, I'm very controls frame rate is garbage I remember you saying that also our net connection is really spotty right now Isaac and his Isaac lived on a small Isaac not Sakashi overkill how you doing I'm trying to like <laughs> I suck at platformers and I beat it in 10 hours. Okay. As I said, in Celeste has accessibility features that allow you to tune the difficulty. Like these, this makes me feel a lot more solid about it. I do remember like GameSpock, I think, who uh, I've been following, but I feel kind of bad because I've never watched any of their videos. Um, we're talking about how hard the seaside levels were, and the, uh, DLC. And I just, I, I don't want to, like, Mama! The, I try to keep games fun for me, because... 
I feel like they'll be more fun for chat. And I, there are some people who can pull suffering very well. Like they can pull off that look. I'm not. Oh, of course it's Krampus. Because you're a jackass, Krampus. Nobody loves you, Krampus. Not even your mom. Not even a little bit. That's not true. Krampus' mom loves Krampus, but still. <laughs> God's owe me a hand. Yo, <laughs> parai that's all post-ending stuff. The base game is doable. B-sides and C-sides are extra content behind the base game, as Ludo said. Huh. I need to think about this. Now, um... I've got a question. Are you all seeing me? Because I'm currently seeing a globe with a yellow caution sign on it. W which would indicate to me that, like, I'm not being broadcast. But, are we still live? You're seeing the globe. Okay. That's, I mean, that's suck. But, okay. I love my B-side, my backside. The audio is fine, just sound. I mean... Alright, so we're all on the same page, which means something is buggered. Time to turn this to a podcast. Okay, we could do that. Um, well, why don't we, okay, why don't we do our story before, like, the stream cuts out eventually. And, and by eventually, I mean completely. I'm not doing Suicide King. Thank you very much. Now, so today was work. And work was a whole lot of work because um, P-Shaw, and P-Shaw is the, they're the sub company that we sub for, are idiots. So basically, here's this thing. We can never either reset the stream or we can carry on with uh, daytime story time. Let's do daytime story in case things break. We've got a... A connecting hallway between two buildings that we have to cut. The building that we are destroying, that's the old building. And is connected to the building we're not destroying, which is the new building. The new building is filled with people going about their daily jobs and lives, because I think it's a dormitory as well. Now, above this connecting hallway, because it is a waste treatment facility, there is a conveyor belt. Now, if anybody has ever seen a conveyor belt, you'll know that the primary makeup of a conveyor belt is rubber. That will be important. Now, also because this is a waste treatment facility, the conveyor belt was used to handle raw waste. You know, food waste and garbage and poop and all those other lovely things that people throw away. So, now, now, now Pisha, they, they got it in their heads that in order to destroy this hallway, they would need to get rid of this conveyor belt. Which is not wrong, precisely. But the method they choose to get rid of this conveyor belt was to use a high-powered gas torch. Now, if we return to our previous facts about conveyor belt convention, you'll imagine the fact that conveyor belts are perhaps flammable? You know, just able to catch on fire. You know, like burst into flames. So, they did that, and as physics would tell us, the conveyor belt burst into flames. Now, it was a containable fire. They had a fire bucket nearby. They poured water on this fire. Yata! That's good. Except we're gonna, we're gonna die here. This is a terrible room and I hate it. It needs to, this, this room needs to stop forever. 
How, what would he do here? Hold on a second. I've got like three of these crossface uh, bullet launching dudes, and I don't. Oh, you fuckers! Yeah, I, I should use the full card. That's okay. It was only a two run win streak. Um, somebody in the next building over sees the resulting flame and kind of gets angry because, you know, hey, this is kind of sort of like where we work. Could you not set it on fire? So, uh, job site got shut, shut down. We got roped into a meeting where... Like, us just regular workers, we just kind of sat in the back, ignored, for two hours. Just because we had to be there for convention's sake. Meanwhile, like, all the boss E-type people were just bitching at each other and screaming and yelling and... How could you do this thing? This is so stupid. Because of that, the job site's going to be shut down until 25th of March. Now, luckily, my company has shifted us to a different job site, me and Big Smile, from Monday. So that means the loss of three days of work. But that's better than the loss of, like, six days of work. So... Yeah. Yeah. We're all together staring into a darkness. We are. To say in the words of Paradise Lost, no hope in sight, daylight before them dies, enshrined the horrified no hope in sight. Uh, there's a lot of things that you've got to torch in demolition, actually, Ludo. Like, I mean, there's a lot of metal that needs to be burnt through. So, for example, in, in also stupid Pichon news, the they had an idea. They were gonna open up a hole in the side of the building, and they were gonna back up a like a garbage container into that hole to allow us to more easily throw away things from the first and second floor. Which is like actually not a bad idea space is limited the problem is like they, they they didn't really do measurements first I guess but now the the big wrecker it's got this like antlion looking head which is awesome the big wrecker knocked this hole in the building chewed up the, the area but the problem is that there's like a lot of iron bars like reinforcement rods in that area so the wrecker can't just pull those out some of them it could but not all of them so we had to bring in like a, a torture to, to come and actually like weld cut those bars out of the way because otherwise people would be getting stabbed all the time whenever they went in there we're taking soy milk because why the fuck not? Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Skype Yoshi. Me on it. You need a better job. This company is Carcosa. <laughs> you were right. Um, this is like... It's a straight intersection of a lot of garbage. I do need a better job. Hopefully I will have one. Um... I'm really, and I shouldn't be, because it's stupid, but I'm really putting a lot of hope on the embalming company. Especially, and I hate to say this because it's evil, but especially because we're kind of in the middle of a plague. So, you know, there's going to be folks to take care of, basically. Um, but I don't know. I don't... I don't want to worry, because when I worry, other people worry, and I don't want to worry other people, which is absurd, but that's who I am. Um, but, like, 
If I could have picked a worse time to quit a job and then quit a job and then try to get a new job, I would have had to have tried really hard because this is not the best time to do what I'm trying to do. As this is a podcast episode, I need to ask who is Honey Bunny? Honey Bunny is my ex-wife and she's someone who I am still in positive contact with. I've known her for, at this point, 16 years? Yeah, about 16 years. Um, she knows me basically better than anybody else. And she's really good people. Oh, we need this. I have no bombs. I don't care, I'm sacrificing a heart to get this parasite. But basically... If I didn't have her in my corner, I probably wouldn't be here today. I mean, there's a couple of people I could say that about. Actually, there's a number of people I could say that about, but uh, props need to be given. I'm sacrificing this hard to get this parasite. God, my mouth, that salami is way too salty. We did se happily separate. And, I mean, it's it's kind of one of those things where any separation isn't really happy. No, no, I understand. I, I, I dig where you're getting from. We had the best case result, I think, that anybody could have hoped for <coughs> <coughs> plus she kept my family name so that's a thing <laughs> she thought it was cooler than hers I'm not so sure but if she does go into professional singing it will stand out more so I don't begrudge her Oh, I thought that was rub. I, I thought that was rabbit saying about the being salty. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was Ludo talking about being salty. And even still, because you've already see, here's the thing. I mean, there's there's like innuendos and misinterpretations, but I think those more heavily rely on what's it called what's it called what's it called in apropos con uh in apropos statements like if you've built a statement through a number of stages probably the the, the final statement won't be taken as an innuendo so in this case Ludo, you've talked about your salami. Don't read that the wrong way. You've talked about your salami like three times already. You introduce the salami. You introduce the fact that the salami was very salty. And then you reinforce the fact that the salami was very salty later on. So it's very clear that you're talking about like the meat and not the meat. I think if it was out of left field, like if you just jumped in and been like, I've been eating some salami and boy is my mouth salty, then maybe we would have misread that. It would have been more likely that we misread that because there was no lead up context to that. In your window, it's my jam. Oh, we've got like picture back. Woohoo! Setup, reminder, payoff. Thank you! Yes, that is exactly the term I was thinking of, Kronos. My brain is not very brain-like at the moment. 
I was taking notes to help with my level. <coughs> and maybe in hindsight, there may have been some Freudian shit going on with the amount I met with the salami. I, personally speaking, because I am a knife, and that's spelled N-A-I-F, I try to take people as much as possible <coughs> on their... people's statements on their face. <coughs> but... I had just figured you were talking about the lunch meat, and not the lunch meat. That's the meat of some guy named Lunch, by the way. <coughs> also because I am... I, I feel the need to be blindingly obvious in anything that I say, so, you know, taking the subtlety out of things is kind of a brand at this point. <coughs> oh, that was well done. Good job, Visco, good job. Maybe if you could die here, that would be really well done. <coughs> <laughs> Indeed. Oh my god, it's new! No, I was totally unaware about the double meaning of my food talk. Well, I mean, I've got a 9 inch kibasa here in case anybody needed it. See, that was the joke from Jackbox. Way back when Jackbox was just, you don't know Jack. Which is like going back 20 years already. Also like the... Nanda to get. Ice Tachi. Ice Tachi, that it! Jack Black and, and, and Kevin... Tenacious D. They had the song, Kibasa. I love you, baby, but all I can think about is Kibasa sausage. My butt cheeks is warm. Do, 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 do. So, like, you know, it, there's a proud tradition of salamis and various luncheon meats being used as Chinchin -chin Nencha, as it were. Kyle Gas. Jackbox is a good example of good brand series recovery. Interesting, because, like, I really don't have a lot of... <coughs> I don't have a lot of knowledge of the fortunes of Jackbox. I entirely remember You Don't Know Jack, and that's basically it. Oh, we did get a uh, deal with the devil. And it is garbage. <coughs> <coughs> also, I would like to not cough, mostly because I would like to not worry. Echi jinayo! Mama echi dakedo! Setsume no tame ni echi! Na kanji no hanashi dake! Uh, the new party packs that release on stream are home party and stream staple. Interesting. I did not know this thing. But mostly because I haven't thought of the series in... Wakarunsukirona? Wakarunsukirona? Now we do have this black rune. And that could be good for us. I should point out before I forget because look, that's incredibly likely. It, oh, fudge. Right. Okay, spikes button 
my next job site is a dam which is kind of cool but kind of worrisome because one I mean on the cool side I've never been to a dam before so that's neat and it's nice to have a, a new job site before this job wraps up on the downside dams have pretty bad casualty rates and also they tend to be really far away so I am kind of worried a bit about the streams this guy's been suspicious the uh, entire game yeah he's an alien yeah kill him me who is actually the alien Okay. Are your uh, co-workers going to set the dam on fire? <laughs> um, probably not because I don't think we're subbing for the same company. Like the, the, the fire issue wasn't on our end. That was on the, the subcontractor. That was their end, because they fucked up. Like, we're bottom of the barrel, but we don't tend to be particularly dangerous in what we're doing. <laughs> That's not good. I mean... I, I'm not gonna say I, I don't like fires, because I, I do, but I don't like fires to interrupt my work day, because I definitely don't. But that's just, I mean, that's just, that's just me. Some folks, what's like, really rich, might enjoy an interruption to the workday. Oh, the high mortality rate? It's more of a historical thing. Like, historically speaking, dams are really not good for the builders. Onadoshi nanoni oshienai risko. Eh, nani, 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 nani o shinakata no? Are? Naka, naka mishita? Mishita ra gomen yo? Ah, um, we'll take starter deck. We'll definitely take your font. Thank you. I once had a cooking accident where I almost kind of set myself on fire, so that's not nice. Um, like, don't do that again. Yara! Yara! Kono tokoro de sono hanashi shinai ndo? Honma ni. Hazukashi yo. Mecha hazukashi yo. Moo! Imoto-chan! I've had, um... I had a roommate almost set the apartment on fire. So... That was a thing. He had, uh... This was many, many years ago. This is, uh... Oh gosh, like, already 15 years ago. But... He'd come home really really drunk W is laughing W is definitely laughing and um, he decided that he wanted hard-boiled eggs which is I mean fine hard-boiled eggs are a good drunk food but the problem was that to make the eggs he set the water on to boil good good start and then he dumped the entire package of eggs like 
the package of eggs not not six eggs but six eggs in a plastic carton into the pot of water that was gonna be boiling and then he fell asleep and I woke up in the morning and there was fire and smoke shooting up the side of the wall by the uh, the stovetop because the plastic had melted and caught on fire of course as plastic will do um why is 888 applesauce www does look like grass that is true I although it's not unheard of it's just not like a thing Applause! Okay. <laughs> Alright, I need to I need to stop here for just a second. Cause I like I misread that, Kronos, and I honest to god thought it said 8888 means applesauce and I couldn't figure out why it would Applause, right, Pachi Pachi Pachi. That makes 5,000 times more sense. Uh, since we've got the globe for the moment, I'm going to take a really quick pause just so I can have a cigarette because I haven't had one yet. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to have to be extra loud so that you know that the stream hasn't ended. So that's kind of a thing. Applesauce? It's not applesauce, it's cucumber cake. Oh, my legs. It's like... Do I even have legs? I don't think so. It's like I got a... Like a big stack of broken twigs. Vaguely wrapped in the leg shapes. Fucking twigs. Fucking legs. Ah, uh, my phone is beeping. Ouch. Haha! <laughs> Gummy chan! Call you a DM cop! How's the car see you all?
Oh, and we're back. Oh, that's why Risu's on his talking during the mic breaks. Basically so that people can know that I'm still actually talking and that the things haven't broken yet. <laughs> TOS manipulation. It can't be unmoderated if you can still hear the streamer. Oh. Well, there's a thing. I mean, like, I didn't realize that was a thing, but that's... We could go with that. I don't need that great chest. It is garbage. I do need to kill everything in this motherfucking room. But... Yeah, so, like... <laughs> I hope everybody's doing very well because the world is weird and kind of suck at the moment and I know that folks might be worried and I hope that you're not worried about- see I don't want to make folks worry but also my weird failure stories tend to be fairly funny stories so I say them without thinking about how folks might read them Oh the kunai yo! Oh money! Hazakashi yo! I'm beatboxing the start of Bulls on Parade while dusting off the kitchen so spirits are high. Excellent! I'm glad to hear the spirits are high. Also that you might be watching High Spirits with Daryl Hannah. Because that's the thing. Wait, is that what that movie was called? She was a ghost. Steve Gutenberg was not a ghost. I don't want Technology 1 because it's garbage. Um, Peter O'Toole was also in that movie. Shinpai shiteru! Shinpai shinaide do! Oru yo, oru yo! Game minai shi! Mmm! Hazukashi kara! Yurusu! Yurusu yo! Yurusu yo! Honma ni! いや、画面しないってことはあの、あ、そう。I don't know why we can't see the the stream. Good old tool. ですよね。Much better tool than Minner, you know, from tool, but Yeah, I don't know what's up with this the the internet tonight. Like, even when I was using my phone, I was having a lot of time, uh, a lot of time, a lot of trouble with the, uh, the net. And I don't think I've hit my data cap yet, although I, I may have done. I mean, Peter O'Toole is definitely a better person than Minergy, James Keenan, so... Nyan <laughs> Nyan! I wish I had a cat, like, honest, honest to goodness. This is not, we're, we're not in cat territory yet. We are just taking so much damage because we basically suck. We need to stop that. I'd rather not have like three losses on one stream. Although I could totally see that happening and I would deserve it. Oh, crumbs. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Go away. I have Sucky Buddy and a four rate of tears. You can't kill me. We do have Guppy's Collar. That is true. Raja Hoso, you know. So me tying it. I mean that would be a, that would be a job to have. I'm still trying to figure out like what job I'm going to be doing in Tokyo. It's fairly difficult. I have a very limited palette of skills, so it's kind of a problem. Now I do have to my benefit, I am able to pick up jobs relatively quickly. But it does require somebody to actually give me a chance.
。どこで会えるのそうやね。いいところやな。あ、ペットオーナーシップ can be stingy over here。But it's mostly like apartments。And it does depend a little bit on the type of pet。Like, I could probably get away with a snake because people wouldn't notice it. And I really want a snake because snakes are really cool. <gasps> cows! Well, we, we must take cows. Wah! Alright. That all sucks. So let's blow it up with. Um, Black Rune. Because I like Black Rune. That was a terrible Black Rune. Sai! Yo! It's, uh, yes, we are globe today. Because, uh, apparently the world's internet, and by the world's internet, we mean Japan's internet, is falling apart. Mama! How you doing? I hope that life is treating you mostly well. I know that, like, things are not great for everybody, but I I was glad to hear your, your DM. I was worried about you, Sai, and... Maybe, like, you don't want that responsibility. And that's okay, but I was, and I just, I was really glad to hear that you're alive? It's glow because uh, pride worldwide. Yes! We'll go with that. Kronos? We are all about the pride worldwide? Well, I mean, sigh your sigh. I, I had to check. I wanted to check. I didn't have to check, but I wanted to check. No more not a. Tomeru yo. Ah, that is a problem. You got to be careful when you're drinking that you can actually get home. There are times. He told me that I have, I have slept in the park. I've slept in a graveyard before, but frankly, like, graveyards are pretty safe places to sleep. So, oh, we've got, we got a, no deal with the devil chance. That's great. We've got image again. Excellent. You're being quarantined because Microsoft Teams go offline. You are worthy, Sai. You are. And I, I will not brook any gainsay of that fact. Y'all are good people. And you deserve to have people checking up on you. <laughs> Yada. I mean, it is, it is very me-esque. And like compounding in the fact that it was because I was coming home from a, a job interview at UPS at like one o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. Oh, fuck me. Oh, you bastards. Not y'all. I mean, the game is bastards. Oh, was there mango Japanese? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I missed it completely. All right, we're gonna try one more shot on this stream. Now we got. Pe okay, we got Ipecac. <laughs> We've got Ipecac and Parasite, and I think they thankfully don't uh, actually synergize. 
Oh fuck. Just please please don't. My stream is so sick. It's like every item is looping. I swear to god. <laughs> Come, Japanese English. This yo ne Yeah, okay, we're taking that. That was there was nothing to be done. We couldn't shoot that bomb away. Come on, Ipcac. Do it for us. You can do it. You can give us the win for tonight that we need to put in the record books. I missed out on studying Japanese today because I worked late. So I'm practicing now. Hi. Like, that's cool. That's super cool. I've got nothing against that. What did we gulp? I don't even. I don't even know. I, wh whatever. We'll just gulp everything. That's that's how we're gonna roll today. Osaki no ina. Osaki ke. Osaki koi. Kuch koi. Kagami is mirror. That is true. Tomate, is it time muri da kara kari den chane? She's not he toni. Hanashi kakeru kara. Yeah, mama, he in jane. Tomate mo monda na shido. Date fton fatsu aru yo. Oh, so. Hi. Just mate. Oh, we've got a bird. I don't remember why we have bird. Because we've got bird foot. See, this would be good. We're building up our international connections. So that when we need to create an international strike force... That will be 100% able to do that. Now we should check out this secret room. I'm not going to go to the curse room because obviously I've not been shepherding my HP very well. Oh, no, no, I almost got offended there because I thought you meant holy water is good. No, holy water is trash. <laughs> There's like roughly no situations where holy water is anything but trash. There's nothing that we want here. It's not worth like depleting the donation machine. I have so few coins in there. BFF holy water run I mean like we could we could do that but I don't think it would be different from any other run that's not a BFF holy water run because it's a garbage item that's just me also Ipecac could you just like fuck off and go away <laughs> gang Oh, we'd have to like work out a tag because you can't be a gang without a tag also we need a lock on some form of illegal money gathering I'm not gonna go with prostitution because I think prostitution should not be illegal but you know something in those lines I know. Okay. I'm just thinking. It's just like an... I just completely left the... Whatever. Whatever Kravis gave us was not important. Illegal tarot readings. That could totally be a thing. We would be like... Like back alley tarot reading artists. Also carrying... Uh, calling down hell and thunder. Because, I mean, that's something that needs to be done anyways.
Right? And if we if we decriminalize sex work, then we can't use it as a source of gang revenue. Because it would be legal. Spiders. Why spiders? Oh my god. Are you... Yes, Guppy's head. I'll take it. Go on there. Yo, yo. We could sell bootleg cat videos. I would be down with that. Bootleg videos of Jeff Bezos petting cats. I mean... That would be a thing, right? I mean, it's not like, it's not as ick as I thought it would be when I first said it. The cat videos are just guppy runs. But they're stolen from NL. Is this still a gang if we act according to the rule of law? Um. Uh, yeah, and construction? <laughs> But I mean, like, I think if we're going to be like a gang, we, we got to kind of go all in. Stolen NL runs the most dastardly gaming activity. Right? Like, we would be con committing illegality while also spreading white bread values. So that's pretty dastardly. Although I, I, I think I've said my piece on NL before. And my my conflicted feelings towards NL. So we don't necessarily need to bust those out again today. But NL does make me feel fairly conflicted. Although maybe less, slow, less so recently. I haven't checked out NL in um, quite a while. Bomb! Spiders! Robbing from the white man? The most illegal of robberies. <laughs> In the eyes of the white man, yeah. I mean, basically. Ah, uh, Northern Lion? Northern Lion, NL is Northern Lion. Uh, he is a... A YouTuber slash streamer. Who kind of made his bank off of Binding of Isaac. He's generally nice. I mean, he is nice, and I do think his heart's in the right place. Uh, but particularly as he's gotten older, he's kind of gotten to be very... How do I put this? I I I'm really thinking about how I want to put this. He's gotten to be very, like... Well, white bread, I guess, is really the best way to put it in the end. Like, do these things that I did that are very suburban value type stuff and you can be successful too type of thing. Yesterday on stream, NL joked about people who have sunglasses in their Twitter avatar make helicopter jokes like he means they're pathetic. Okay, um, that's cool. I'm good with that. And I'm, I'm 100% also explosions everywhere. I'm 100% willing to reevaluate my view of NL. I do know that a fair amount of my view of NL is based on my own life. And it would make me really happy to know that he is honestly just a decent person. Because he seems like, honestly, a decent person. Just some of the things that he said in the past kind of rubbed me specifically in the wrong way. I take NL as the measure of bare minimum I expect from white cis men. Yeah, I mean, like, I could, I can, I could read that. I can get that. 
Oh, fudge. Do we go for Eden Soul? I mean, Eden Soul is a thing. Also, Angel, you suck. Do we need the flies? The answer is always yes. Always do the fancy angel items. I, well, I guess we're going with it now. I mean, Kronos, I would not... Koya! Teki-san. Ma, 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 Tenshi Tachi wa koi teki ya na, homani. Kronos, I would not discount your opinion on any game strategy because you are actually really good at a lot of these games and you get good at these games quick so if you just like rocked up and were like yeah definitely take that item I would at least give that opinion consideration Homani yana game ga josu ya ne Oh, we got the hermit. Also, like, where are we in the run? I honestly have no idea. Are we at the mom fight already? Also, this room is terrible with uh, our loadout. Fudge. Oh, it's not the mom fight. Now we have to make a hard decision. Do we just rush and try to use the Hermit to skip? Yes. Yes, the answer is yes. I don't know even why I hesitated. Like Dr. Chenard. Chenard? Choronoi-san. Choronoi-san? Game Josiana. A Chrono-san. That Isaac face is when I'm happy. That, that is a, a very sly face to have when you're happy. We're good with that. Ah, we're gonna go with Hermit. Go with Hermit, Isaac. Don't go with God. What's God ever done for you? Speaking of, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I have no idea when, because memory sucks. Um, Crossed is a terrible comic book, and I think it just needs to have never happened. Ever. That's just me, though. I mean, there might be them that don't feel that way, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, that Crossed is trash. It's just a guess. Wait, this this face? Simon, I, I need to I need to check. This is the face of Simon unhappy. Can you see this face? It, this is like the, the the most UWU face in the world, and I only say that because I don't know how to pronounce UWU. It's you woo? I guess it's you woo? Cross seems like someone saw French Extremity Martyrs and made a try hard version of it. Um, I. My own. That was awesome. I feel like. Crossed is a way to game the. Zombie genre system That The problem with zombie stories Is that generally the zombies aren't really meant to be threats That you can't have a long-term zombie apocalypse That you have to kind of crutch on Man is the real enemy 
But the best part of the zombie apocalypse, like that, that story type, is the world falling apart. Because oftentimes, man is not the worst enemy. Usually in disaster situations, people aren't assholes. Although the Chronospirus thing may be testing us on that one. But usually speaking, when you've got sharp disasters, people come together, which is the opposite of zombie stories. With Crossed, the zombies can always be threats because they're living, they're intelligent, and they're absolutely evil. I think we go for Mega Satan. Yeah, I think we do Mega Satan. These both suck, but we could just take one, so fuck it. I'm so sorry, Kronos. I honest to God didn't mean that, but it just kind of came out, so, you know. <laughs> Something I love to see explored in zombie scenarios is nature reclaiming society and like wolves and bears and all sorts being uh, much of a present threat as anything else. I do like that aspect of... Hello, brain. Work with me. It would be cool. The Last of Us. All of the little bits with nature being a thing. I thought that those, those were really cool and really well done. Cross is hyper-violent and sexually explicit horror that is like a uh, hate plague zombie apocalypse rather than zombies. Right, like, but I guess what I'm getting at is the... Hmm. The archetypical zombie plot. Right, like if we look at Night of the Living Dead and Day of the Dead and... Walking Dead and basically all of the dead movies is that society crashes there's an externalized threat but society eventually destroys itself because it fights itself right so like you got Dawn of the Dead the original not the remake that's different where they could have set up a functional system by communicating with the bikers and vice versa and allowing a shared exchange of goods represented by the mall. But they wouldn't do that, so everything collapses. The problem is that in real life, that's not how people treat disasters, generally speaking. That people do actually tend to come together during disasters and form mutually supportive networks. So anything that's realistic, quote unquote, as a disaster, doesn't function as a zombie apocalypse. So to get the zombie apocalypse, you've got to ramp it up about a billion times. The zombies by themselves can't be the threat, because the zombies are a negligible threat once we've reached a baseline. So. The zombies can't just be stumbling zombies. They've got to be running zombies. And even then, if you're going to push it because you're edgy, they can't just be running zombies. They've got to be murder-rape zombie people. And so we get crossed. But, I mean, like I said, it's just, like, that's my, my read. It's not a great read. It's not a professional read, but... Is Crank the one with Jason Stratham? Yes, it is. Um, he has a disease where if his adrenaline ever stops... It's not a disease, it's a poison. If his adrenaline ever stops, he dies. So he's got to do wacky things in order to survive. I feel like uh, Last of Us has some vague magic pixie dream girl vibes going on. I kind of wish Ellie was the MC and the window we see... Uh, the story through. Hmm. I'm, I want to come back to you, uh, to your comment in just a second, Rabbit. Let me just catch up on the rest of it. Uh, 
it's like the exact same concept as speed with counter reefs, but with the person instead of a bus. <laughs> Sai, you're absolutely right. Yes. Um, and, hmm. I don't. I partially agree with you, Rabbit. I mean, I agree with your final point. I, I do wish that the game was a little bit more focused on Ellie, but I also, maybe just because of myself, uh, found myself like kind of hard identifying with Ellie, so I may have focused more on her than the game intended. I don't think, the point I don't agree with you is I don't think that she's meant to be a manic pixie dream girl like I don't think that's her purpose in the story I think she serves a similar purpose but how do I put this how do I how do I get this right The Manic Pixie Dream Girl seems like a very different type of wish fulfillment. Like, an escape from the humdrum normal life that the world has forced the, the bloke into. Um, a embracing of a wilder, like crazy wacky life that is represented by the Manic Pixie Dream Girl. I also think that it's kind of inescapable from an attraction to that type of character. That there's, I don't want to say a lust, because I think that's overstating it, but that usually the, the Scott Pilgrim character, let's put it that way, uh, wants the Manic Pixie Dream Girl as a girlfriend. And I think it would be a big stretch to say that that's what Joel wants from Ellie. Joel pretty clearly... Well, in the beginning of the story, Joel doesn't want anything from Ellie because I think he pretty clearly reads her as a possible daughter surrogate, and that's what he doesn't want because daughter issues. Um, but that's what he ends up getting from the relationship. So... I mean, like, what is that? That's a, a return to responsibility, maybe? I don't know what pithy TV tropes quote to use for that, but... And I should be looking at the chat more. That's one of the problems when I start to talk about something is that like I, I kind of have to stop looking at the chat to actually get my idea out of my head. So if points are addressed mid-speech, please understand that I'm not actually ignoring you. It's just that I, I kind of need to to just finish my thought. Uh, the strangeness of every day and the lack of attraction puts a spin on the trope. But this girl will save me is part of it. Uh, Part of it always felt present to me. Hmm. 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 I think we might be splitting hairs here. Like, I mean, I think that we might be agreeing more than we're disagreeing, Overkill. Um. Like, I... Th I think that the saving... The way that I see the saving in the the Magic Pixie Dream Girl trope is not the same read that I would have from... Ooh, Creep Bombs. From Last of Us. Like, it, it, it feels like a very different salvation from... Like, okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me think about this. Give me, give me two seconds. Hear me out on this one, and don't agree with me, necessarily. I would say that 
the magic pixie dream girl trope, and that is a whole mouthful, is an escape from responsibility, an escape from the ordinary, and the responsibility that the ordinary implies. I would say the relationship between Joel and Ellie is the reverse. That in Ellie and the relationship that Joel has to Ellie is a return to responsibility, is a return to normalcy for Joel. Because when we, we look at Joel early on, he's cast off everything. He's with um, Tessa. I had to search there for a second. But, like, their relationship seems to be practical. They seem to, they're, they're together and they care for each other, but it doesn't seem like a nurturing, loving relationship. It doesn't seem like a relationship of responsibility. Because he's left that behind with his daughter. And I, I feel like that's reinforced throughout the story. Like, Joel becoming the hard dude for survival and throwing away responsibility to other people. Hmm. That's what I got. <laughs> um, what I found interesting about Joel and Ellie's relationship is that Ellie ends up making things worse for Joel in terms of his character than improving him like a ma magic pixie dream girl would. Tomi chan wa toire ni iku. Itoire, I think I might be one of the few people who thinks Joel moved towards damnation rather than salvation in his interaction with Ellie. Um, it's like, I don't know. I'm going to die. And I'm going to die before we like get, uh. fuck, die, damn it. <laughs> this sucks because I don't have enough time for another run. Because my brain gears are definitely grinding down, but I'm really interested in this thread. So let me try to, to pull out some ideas here. Um, hmm. I've got a big thing for creative families because I'm adopted. And I mean, that's not because I'm adopted, but like I, I do see a lot of value in those types of families. I've also got really weird hang-ups with family connections and like giving yourself to your family. Um, so there's the scene in Last of Us. There's two scenes in Last of Us that just completely gut me, but one of them I think is very manipulative. I mean, I think they're both manipulative, but one of them is like kind of more of a trope manipulative. Ellie's run away. Joel's gone to find her, finds her in the house. Um, he says he's going to take her someplace safe. And she says, I'm safe with you, basically. And for some reason, that scene just absolutely fucked me up. Like, the, the line delivery alone... I can kind of hear it in my head now, and I'm getting kind of choky. Um, it's so well done. But, like, that expression of, I've chosen you as family. I don't want to go so far as to say father figure, because, I mean, even though obviously that's what it is, that's not, like... I mean, that's got its own whole set of tropes going along with it. Um, like, that was really, really affecting. But, yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, like, I don't even know how to dig this out. And part of it is just the, the story set up is such a way that it's a Faustian bargain at the end. And it's engineered that way, which sucks. But it's like, okay, so do we give Ellie agency, in a sense? Because she's comatose, but she's she's indicated previously that she would be willing to die for this goal. Do we give her agency and allow her to die? Or do we take her agency in order to save her? Like, I... 
It's a shitty question. And there's not any kind of good answer within the framework of the story. So... Um... <sighs> Is it weird for me to admit that I never actually knew that Bisu played uh, The Last of Us before? Uh, maybe not. Like, I don't think we've talked about it a lot. Uh, it's not a game that comes up very often. We might have talked about it in the context of it killing my PS3. Because it totally did. That was the whole, like, ice water and fan uh, setup that we had going was because of The Last of Us. Uh, honestly. PS3 was fine before that. But, um, like, by the end of the game, he made hard swerve into, I need this, and therefore I will do this, while presenting this as I did this for you. That's a really good point, Hive. That's a really good point. And I wonder how that would read differently. Like, if Joel had presented his choice to Ellie in that context like oh wow hive that would have been a lot better like that would have been a lot better so like look at this at the end so Ellie confronts Joel because she figures things are wonky because obviously they are and Joel just lays it out he says, I couldn't let you die. And you might hate me because of that, but I couldn't do it. And then how that might affect the relationship. And how Ellie might react to that. That would be really, really good. And I think that would, that would probably present a more interesting... thought line of headcanon from that point than maybe what we got. Because what we get is kind of like a it's kind of like a force dilemma. Like we kind of have to side with Joel because we we know as players that the Fireflies are full of shit and we're kind of set up to view the Joel-Ellie relationship in a positive light. So we want to preserve that. We don't want Ellie to die. Well, you've given me a whole bunch of thought soup to chew on here, Hive. Gonna be the same as the DLC for the first game. Slotted in and nothing else. I never actually played the DLC, Rabbit. Like, I I watched a playthrough of it, but I, I, I didn't ever actually do it myself. Can't wait for the lesbian fridging in Last of Us 2. Glad so many people got worked into burnout for this trope. Oh, uh, that, that's right. Like, that's, is, is that confirmed, Ludo? That, that Ellie's girl is going to die again because I've only seen bits and pieces of the trailer and I've only seen like bits and pieces of the discourse but it was a Campbell's chunk chunky thought soup I I mean <laughs> the story's got problems the story's got serious problems and the game has got problems the game has got serious problems. But, like, I did find at the end of the day, as problematic as it was, left of, be left of behind. <laughs> left, left behind, you're not content. That's the fucking Christian apocalypse story. The Last of Us. Jesus. <laughs> Please save me. It's a good thing we're wrapping up the stream. I did find The Last of Us to be a very affecting game. Um, and I, like, I just... So, kind of drilling down and finding the good points of the game and also finding the failures of the game is something that I do, I do like to nibble on every now and then from a completely unprofessional standpoint. I've been keeping clear of The Last of Us 2 up till now. 
Like, there's some oblique reference to needing to do difficult things for the sake of the story because it's right for the story. I suppose in a poke, a poke, a poke. I can't talk. I'm done. Uh, in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Um, any kind of happy relationship is probably too far a goal for any kind of game company at the moment, but it would have been nice, you know, like, would have just been kind of nice, just saying. Ah, I know, yeah, I know, get to your be, right, you know, get to your be, kara, she got to sit up, you told me, John. There's definitely no work tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to go to Hello Work and start the job seeking process for Tokyo early. And maybe just kind of lay all my cards on the table and be like, Yo, could you give me a company that wouldn't fire me for being trans? Because that would be super cool. Uh, you know, just to kind of get it out there. I'll still be able to use the computers, regardless of how the staff reacts, but it would probably be a good thing. Um, not like a... Not, not an interview interview, but just maybe going over to... Uh, going over to the job center and having a talk with them. See, Hive, that's what it could have been. That's what it could have been. Just, uh, splatting fungus heads? I should get a job at Sega. I, you know... I, if I had any skills that Sega would need, although I will definitely, like, check out Sega and see, like, what kind of jobs they're offering. Honestly, my dream job is doing embalming again. And that's not impossible. Just unlikely. But... This has been such a weird stream. We didn't win a single run. Which is totally my fault. Um... We had a lot of, like, just podcast stuff. Which probably would have been a good idea to just pause the game and simply do podcast. But clearly I'm not very smart. Um, they should have killed Joel and her and her partner should have gone on a trip to fuck people up. That would have been, um... I think you would have had to have done some... Narrative tweaking to get that one to work. I mean the first part of that to work. Maybe Ellie would want to kill Joel though. I mean she might have nurtured She might have nurtured a grudge against him Ma um, folks Mmm Cat and sunglasses <laughs> Cat and sunglasses which reads in my, uh, the, the text on the screen is cool cat. Uh, folks, I had a really good night tonight. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for taking the time to put up with, like, the, just the terrible everything. But, I'm gonna crash out here because my brain is basically falling asleep. So, from, eh? Oh, oh, the cult could have killed Joel. Right. Gotcha. And thank you so much for s showing up, Simon. I do appreciate it. And I am so glad to hear that you are well. <laughs> From me, Risco, here in Osaka, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be. Thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigasamirota, sayonara, see you, and ciao.